one of the really big questions we all face is who am I? On the one hand, I'm this person, I'm a, I'm a body, an object, but who's the subject? Who is the I that's witnessing Tim? Who is witnessing this moment now? Who's witnessing these thoughts arising, these hands doing hand stuff? Who's, who is, what is that I? And if you dive deeply into that, something astonishing happens. The world turns inside out. What is this incomprehensible mystery we are a part of that holds in itself the seed of life that makes a heart start beating? What is it that can create such an infinite diversity of species and such a breathtaking variety of flora? And what happens when we die? Is it the definitive end? Or is there something more to come? Who am I, really? Humans have asked these questions since the dawn of humanity. We are full of wonder at the inexplicable mystery that we live in and are a part of. But now, in the beginning of the 21st century, with all our advanced research, pioneering technology, and deeper insight into most areas, have we come any closer to an understanding? Or is science still unable to provide answers to these key questions? It doesn't explain us. It doesn't explain life. Not to mention mind. The thing that it can't explain, the big problem, is the existence of consciousness. Because consciousness had not been a proper subject in science for 400 years. If this thing in here is actually a quantum computer, then you can predict that it's actually not completely in there. It has aspects of itself which are sort of entangled out in the world. That means that when we think, we create an energy. We're energy uh, frequency generators. Psychic phenomena like telepathy simply don't fit into the materialist worldview. It's the creative play of consciousness. Where does it come from? It's inherent property. The atomic level we live in, what we call reality, is actually 0 0.000000001 of a percent of what's actually there. Are we really timeless? Does the I itself exist in an eternal now? We don't die. We are eternal beings on an infinite journey. And I just had this incredible state of clarity in that realm. We're all talking about the same place, the same realm, outside of physical reality, far grander and more real than this realm. My sense is yes, at that soul level, we do choose. We choose when we'll be born, we choose in the circumstances and where we'll be born. You create your own reality according to your thoughts, emotions, beliefs, and expectations. Am I here on a journey so that consciousness can expand? Is this what it's all about? This is such an incredible journey that we're on. Not to recognize it, to wait, to wait until death is, is, is such a shame. <laughs> <laughs>